Hey you guys, it's Alex. I'm here to do another DIY video for you guys. If you haven't had a chance to check out the rest of my page, I've done a few DIYs now, so be sure to check it out after this video and click that subscribe button while you're there. I'm also going to be featuring this on my blog and my Instagram, so be sure to follow along. So when my husband and I purchased our home, I actually worked for another home builder and I was in charge of managing the interior designer and the staging, um, as well as doing any of our show home sales. So when we purchased our first home and I was on a very strict budget, I actually ended up purchasing a lot of our items from my own show home uh, furniture sale. One of the items I bought was actually this upholstered bench here. I've kind of kept it in our entryway. It's a little tattered in some areas. Uh, actually what I was thinking of doing was re-upholstering the bench and then literally just last night it hit me that this is actually a solid wood piece of furniture. So even when I open it up here you can see that the full inside is wood. I've actually had a peek underneath the fabric and I've seen that it is wood all the way around so not just on the inside but on the outside as well. No, guys. My fingers are crossed that it's not too rugged underneath the fabric. I'm going to take out all the pins, take off the fabric and see what I'm working with. I may need to sand it and I think for sure I'm probably going to have to do some sort of a glaze on the wood itself. Uh, so I'm really excited. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so I have all the fabric off and I pulled all the staples and nails out of the bottom. So because there was all of this padding, uh, I'm going to try and wet it down and then use like my putty scraper and just see if I can scrape it off of there. Um, and then after I do that, I'm going to sand it. If this doesn't work, I'll just have to use my sander to take this stuff off, but I'd prefer to get it off this way first. So we shall see. So I tried to take off all of this foamy stuff uh, with kind of like a putty scraper and then trying to put some water on it. That did not work, so I'm moving to plan B. I already was hoping to sand this down, so I'm just gonna hope that it comes off when I sand. So in my Milwaukee toolkit, I do have a sander. I have never used this tool before. Um, I got it all set up. It seems pretty straightforward. Obviously the grittier sandpaper I'm going to use 
first to try and take off all the imperfections and then I might um, pare down my sandpaper to one that smooths it out a little bit better. Again, I have never used this before so I am just kind of winging it. Uh, for anybody who wants to criticize, feel free. Uh, it's all a learning experience. So I am excited to finally get a little bit of practice using this tool, uh, but we shall see how it goes. Also for anybody wondering, I do know this is going to get dust everywhere and uh, I already have made such a mess on my carpet. Um, one, we are hoping to get rid of all of our carpet and put in new floors. It's something I'm saving up for, so I don't care that much about my carpet right now, which is why I am doing it on my living room floor. If you're attempting a project like this at home, obviously I would recommend going to a garage or a shop or somewhere where you don't care um, if it gets dirty or not. Like I said, we are planning to replace this carpet hopefully sometime in the next six months, so it's not a huge concern of mine. So I am back from the hardware store. Everything in total that I have spent on redoing this bench has been $21.07. So I'm really jazzed about that. Uh, a few things that I picked up were this Helmsman uh, urethane or spar urethane. It's basically a clear coat. And then I did go with a satin finish because I didn't want anything too shiny. Um, this is a Minwax product and the person working at the store recommended it. He said because it's an indoor outdoor product, it would likely hold up just a little bit better than a strictly indoor product. So that's why I went with this one. Um, and then I also picked up a brush and then just a little container to put it in to make the process go that much easier. So without further ado, I'm excited to just get to this last part of the project and I can't wait to see how it turns out. So I have totally completed uh, the revamp of my front entry bench. I am so happy I did this. As you can see, um, I did put a coating on it after I sanded it. And honestly, I can't believe that they would cover up a solid piece of furniture with that really ugly fabric. It turned out so great and I am so happy that the wood actually does look quite rustic. Um, so although it's not a really uniform tone or uniform wood pieces, I do think that it fits kind of my boho style. So I'm really happy about that. I also really like that it is a trunk so I do have some storage space within it as well. The clear satin finish really helped to finish off this project. Um, I did contemplate just leaving the wood rough and not having any kind of finish on it. I do think that this wood needed some sort of finish to it and that darker tone really helps hide a lot of the imperfections in the wood. So I am happy about that. I will be featuring this on my blog, so be sure to check it out here on my website, as well as follow along on Instagram so I can also share my before and after photos of this project. If you haven't had a chance already, please like, comment, and share this video, as well click that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.